All right, here's a Honeywell thermostat. Now this one's a digital one. It has a small digital display, even though it brags that it's a large one. Uh, one benefit is you can program weekends and week uh, weekdays separately. It'll have, if I put on heat here, you can see the inside temperature and what this is set to. So it's set on heat, so it's not going to cool the house down. But it's going to, if I turn it up, I can easily do that by just pushing a button. It's listed as a temporary um, temperature change and it says the heat's on so the thermostat's turned on and so this will last until it reaches 74 degrees then the temporary should go or if you want to just go back to the standard setting you can just hit run. So anyway to program this let me show you how to just do the default programming. If you go to set set, set. Here's where you get into the programming schedule. Now if I hold down these two now it's set for the Energy Star um, schedule. That's just the default schedule so I can hit run. Now it's uh, set at 62. Let me see if the manual has a picture of that so you can see Real quick, pause the video if you want. All right, there you go. That's what schedule is the default. So you have wake up, it's going to set it to 70 degrees, cool, 75, anyway, something like that. That's the default schedule. Um, let's see. Here's how to set the time. If you press set once, you can set the clock. So it's real easy, up and down. So whatever the time is, let me take a glance at what the time is here. 7.05, just a couple minutes off, okay. Now I'm going to click run, now it's set to 7.05. Days of the week, I'll hit set, set, day. It is Friday, but I could go, oh wait, no, it's not even Friday. That, it's Thursday today, there we go. Now I can uh, do the schedule after you entered that. So I don't really want the startup go until let's say 7 a.m. and I want you to set the house to 71 degrees and then when I leave this is the the weekday programming I'm gonna leave it let's say 930 and I just hit set to move on to the next one and I want the temperature when I leave to be 71 not much of a difference and then I can do it again for return. Once I hit set it, saying, okay, what's your return temperature? Okay, let's say you come home. You know, I come home at 4.30 or whatever, hit set, and I want it to go back up to 72. And then at night, yeah, you can get colder at night. Let's say 11, go down to a balmy 70. Okay, so now you can do the Saturday and Sunday if there's a difference. If not, you just program it the same way that you did the weekdays. Let's say, you know, 9 o'clock, set it to 72 when I leave at 8 o'clock. Whoops. Is there a back button? Let's see. Oh, no back button. So to set it, you just keep going through set 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 until you get to the end. So there's no way to go back. If you uh, hit set too many times, clock, set the day, set the time for when you wake up. It says wake. Or okay, so then the then the temperature. Now leave time, temperature, return time temperature and sleep time temperature okay now this is Saturday and Sunday again so you can see it's gonna take you a little bit of time to go through these and uh, it's kinda tedious really um, but anyway you get the idea so let's just hit run to get out of that now to this you're either gonna put it on cool to run your AC or heat 
to run your heater so this if you just don't even care you just leave it in the off position and it has an automatic fan so if you just want, want to run the fan in your furnace and just circulate the air around maybe filter out some dust in the house then you just put it on fan and it'll uh, come on at that so if uh, I want it at a temporary 75 degrees it'll hold it uh, it'll just do that temporary like it says if I want it to hold that temperature just click hold and now it'll stay 75 degrees no matter what the um, programming is it'll just keep that until you tell it to uh, to stop and I just hit run to stop so anyway it's pretty basic there's not that many features um, to this and you might need to know that if you just grip your fingernails in there there are two batteries that you'll need to replace this keeps the information stored um, if there's a power outage and stuff you don't want all your settings to be erased so make sure there's good batteries in here and this is a little switch in case you have um, different power source to your furnace so anyway, I hope that video's helped. If it has, please click like and uh, subscribe. Thanks.